Jain everyone, this is your great developer. I hope everyone is doing great. Yesterday, one of my friends asked me what preparation is required as a two-year experience sales developer if they are looking for a job change. The answer is very simple. You should be a good communicator. I mean, you should have a good communication skill because you need to interact with the customer. In Salesforce technology, you should have the good command over admin, Salesforce admin, because that have the topics like profile, permission sex, flows, OWDs. SOQL and SOSL, because that, you know, SOQL will be definitely be used in table order. And SOQL and SOSL is the foundation of FX. You should have the capability of logic thinking. You know, the converting your business requirement. So that means, you know, the logic writing skill you should have. And that's why they ask you the triggers. If you are a basic in the Apex, basic in the front-end technology, either of, you know, the two, like LWC or Aura, it's okay. Because everyone understands that for at least for six uh, months, initially six months, you have spent you know the duration training. After that, if you are lucky enough, you must have you know you got a project. Otherwise, you will be patched. So in total, if I if I calculate on an average, one year is the duration you have worked, or little bit more or less. So do not fake your resume. Do not overflow your resume with these skills. If something you don't know, it's okay. You don't know. What you know the preparation you require when you're appearing for the interview, which you know makes a healthy or I should say the you know the more interactive communication. Two questions. One, tell me something about yourself and your project. These two questions derive entire interaction during the interview. Tell me something about yourself helps to know about the person, how the person is, what the person has done so far. And in that, try to tell them that you are a self-motivator, you are a very enthused to learn new technology, and if you're preparing for, uh, you know, having the, any of the, you are learning for any, any, any cloud, <clears throat> I'm sorry, you're learning for cloud, you're preparing for any certification, mention that. Give some detail of, of you know, I mean, the, why you are learning that particular cloud, why you are, you know, the, learning that particular technology. Give detail of the, the trailhead module which you have covered. Share your you know the detail about the certifications in your project tell them that you actually have understood the business requirement which means what your project serve i mean anything which we have developed should serve a business requirement tell them also let them know that you have the understanding of the terminologies like sdlc Agile, Zira. They are not, you know, going to talk, you know, with you in that. But if you, you know, I mean, they tell them that yes, you understand. Because, e you know, as a developer, each day we we, we work with these technologies. So prepare yourself and do let me know in the comment section if this advice has helped you. And one last thing, do not forget to take feedback. After every, you know, the interview, they give you an opportunity to seek for the, you know, the, the I mean, they, they give you the opportunity that do you have any questions? Ask them, sir or ma'am, 
Do you have any feedback? Any suggestion for me? After two days of interview, send an email to the HR. Thanking to the HR for giving you the opportunity and also add a line that that was the learning experience for you and then ask for the feedback and the update. I hope this will help you in cracking your interview. We'll meet again. Till then, stay safe, take care of country, take care of your family. Jai Hind.